Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is the show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Christine Gold. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to cross roads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angelic Reiki, angel cards, hypnosis, to help you get clear on your destiny, and your reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each week um, I will share the wisdom um, of my wonderful guests and we will have various themes of your journey. And today's guest, Christine Gold, will be sharing about how intuition saved her life and how you can find your own gifts and develop your own intuition. Now, Christine is an intuitive autonomous anatomy reader, psychic, empath, energy coach and healer, a spiritual medium and Josiah Reiki master and teacher. She helps women entrepreneurs heal at a 360 degree level, mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually. Now through a series of sessions, becoming self-aware of to release limiting beliefs, struck energy, traumas, old wounds and stories. Um, and now all this accelerates the inner healing the, you know, the kind of stuff that keeps you from unconditional love that's always been there. Now, from Christine um, has suffered in the past from depression, SAD, postpartum anxiety through her life. But after a health scare in 2018, she started looking at spirituality as a medical treatments and spiritualist didn't seem to be working. Now, this led her down the rabbit hole of healing, learning to ground herself, meditation, and most importantly, listen to her intuition. Now, Christine realized that she had always had these gifts, but like many of you out there, had ignored or not realized that they were always there. So now this has led her to coaching, healing, empowering others to take charge of their destiny. Now with reviews such as, Christine has a wonderful gift and I feel grateful for having experienced it firsthand. Had a rescue Reiki reading session with Christine and although this was a distance reading, she was spot on on everything she said. Each issue she brought up resonated strongly with me and she offered awesome advice on how I could overcome them. Definitely recommend her. So without further delay, hello, Christine, and welcome to the Angels of Destiny show. How are you today? I'm amazing and so happy to be here. Thank you. Brilliant. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Christine and I want to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any questions or comments live or once the show is finished. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get um, updates on all uh, recordings. So Christine, why don't you tell us more about how intuition saved your life and then how we can find our own gifts to develop through our own intuition? Uh, intuition is who we are. It's our soul's purpose, our soul's calling. Um, we've had it since birth. We were born perfectly. At least that's what I believe in. But uh, somewhere along the way, you know, programmings, beliefs, uh, traumas, uh, whatever's happened out throughout your life, especially for me, I don't know about anybody else, but I always felt like I didn't belong. I always felt like the black sheep of the family. <laughs> um, and I didn't know what to do with all these emotions, all this energy around me, all of the messages that I was picking up from the other side, from my angels, my guides, my loved ones. So it, it kind of, it, it turned into depression. It turned into anxiety. It turned into um, me looking for externals, whether it was drugs, and that could be food, that could be alcohol, that could be sex, that could be anything. I mean, <laughs> there's so much out there. Um, yeah. And 
like I said, that health scare that really scared me. But then I also found uh, uh, one of my mentors. She did a video about anxiety and depression and how it is your intuition. Um, you also may be psychic. You are an empath. Um, you're a medium, meaning you can talk to loved ones on the other side. And it's it's coming out in in that way because you don't know how to calm your body, yourself, your mind, the whole 360, mind, body, soul, spirit. Um, so I, I did training with her. So I am a certified medium. I don't like labels no, I don't. <laughs> or, you know, certificates. I mean, it's, it's great that you have that, um, but to walk the walk and talk the talk or, or is what I believe in. Um, actually doing the work, getting your hands dirty, um, trusting, trusting the whole process. Um, I think that that's why the depression and anxiety took over is I did not trust who I was. I did not trust my intuition. I did not trust that I am unco unconditional love. Because that, that's what we are. We are born perfectly, like I said, and somewhere along the way, we decided, we were told, it was ingrained, it was beaten into us through messing, messaging, family, whatever it happens to be that we are not worthy. I think worthy is the biggest thing that I'm working on right now, but um, it it's establishing a routine of going back to um, self-care and self-love. They're interchangeable. And yeah. And, and that's what I believe in. And I love myself so much that when I get up, I, there are certain things that I do every morning before I start my day. And if that means I'm getting up at five in the morning or 4.30 or four, that's when I get up. Um, and it includes a dream journal, which I highly recommend, a gratitude journal, meditation, exercise, whatever it may be, getting outside in nature, eating well, um, whatever's around you, the people that you associate yourself with, your inner circle, and if you're finding that circle is dragging you, making you feel worse than lifting you up, that's a sign as well. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what you're feeding your soul, your mind, your body, your spirit, the whole 360. So <laughs> I'm still going through this. I mean, there's still stuff that comes up. I am not perfect, never will be. Um, all I know is that I was born perfectly and I am perfect the way that I am. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I mean, that, that's the thing I think a lot of people forget is you were born perfectly as to, to, to why you're supposed to be here at this, this time. But we get bombarded with so much stuff around us that we kind of think, Oh well, actually, that's wrong with me. That's wrong with me. Oh, maybe I should be doing this. Shouldn't should, mm -hmm. should be doing that without thinking. Actually, just being me with what I do is actually perfect. Yes, exactly. And there's a lot of shame that goes along with, it. like, mainly my who I work with are women over the age of forty. I'm still niching down, but there's a common thread: um, the shame part, especially. We go into people pleasing. I had people pleasing syndrome. It was much easier to help and focus on someone else than do my own inner stuff and just avoid, avoid, avoid. Because I yeah. didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there. But it's the strangest thing. I was in fight and flight for most of my life through the depression, anxiety, that once I opened up all of my chakras, which I highly recommend, cleaning, cleansing, balancing, Owning my energy through Reiki, which everyone is able to do Reiki. It's it's really, it's mind over matter. Um, it's a belief, it's an intent that once I let go and opened up and let go of all that stuff, all my cells, I mean, it came out in, unfortunately, other illnesses that I had to deal with. I had a surgery, but you know what? I've come out the other side <laughs> and it's amazing. It's like, I, I wish, I wish for everyone to do it sooner than I did. Yeah. Which, which yes. is, which, which is, which is what you're doing to help people. Yes. And um, Carla has said, hello. Hello, Carla. It's brilliant for you to join Hi, us Carla. again. 
uh, there. So, so how how do you kind of like help other women? Um, you, you know, when when they come and see you. Um, I've been told just my energy, my presence. It's like, and I've been told many times, like someone has taken a weight off the back. A lot of stress and a lot of, everything sits here for, for women for, for some reason, a lot of stress, at least for me. Um, it's like I take that weight off. I help them relax. I help them open up. I help them finally be able to breathe for once in their life and know that they're not alone on their spiritual journey. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a form of the intuitive uh, coaching or counseling, however you want to look at it. It's, it's a mix of Reiki. So going through all of their chakras and finding blockages and then giving them real time tools and information that they can use, whether they want to use it or not. Again, it's their journey. I'm just giving them, I, I'm just, I'm kind of like, you know, their, their biggest supporter. Um, I've, I've heard the word change angelist, not an evangelist. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I've heard that the other day. I'm like, hey, that's cool. I like that. I um, like that. I still that, actually. <laughs> and just letting them know that they're beautiful, exactly who they are. They're worthy. Giving them more than mantras or affirmations. It's more of waking up and saying, I believe in you, Christine. Or I believe in you, right? Whatever, you know, you start with that and then find your own and find your own. And you know what? There's going to be emotion that comes in. You are not that emotion. It is just a feeling and it passes, but it comes from somewhere. So let's dig in and find out where it comes from. And yeah. many, many times it's unhealed trauma, inner child stuff, wounds, um, and it could even be whatever they're eating. There's that gut brain connection with the serotonin. So it might be, you know, there's a lot. That's why I do the four quadrants. I do the, you know, the spiritual, the mental, the physical and the emotional parts. And is that normally sort of like in the one session when people see you or is that over a period of time? Um, well, the Reiki rescue reading is basically <laughs> I need help, like ASAP 911, give me something. Um, and I, I don't want people to hit rock bottom, but many times, and I've been there, we usually hit rock bottom. And really, there's only way, one way is to look up. There's only one way to go. So yeah. we, start, we start there. A lot, I do offer a 30 minute complimentary intuitive coaching call so I can get an idea of what's going on. Um, and then we can discuss either coaching, the, the Reiki, the healing part, or it's a combination of all three. Okay, and we've got um, Cindy who says, hello ladies, first time here. Hello Cindy, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you for tuning in. That's us, yes, and I'm guessing you. possibly Carla um, <laughs> uh, shared, so that's brilliant, thank, thank you thank very you. much. You know, it, you know, please, you know, it's like, please do share this video whether you're watching live or at, at a later day, um, you know, because it can help, it can help a lot more people. So if someone is thinking, well, how to, you know, you're, you're saying that everyone's got intuition. How do I find my intuition? How, how do I get my intuition? What, what would you sort of like suggest to people? Uh, well, I suggest with uh, definitely meditation and a lot of, even myself, being a bit slightly A-type personality, my mind wants to be like, no, that's my ego, wants to, con no, no, we're not doing that. I don't even know how to do that. I, it sounds dumb. It sounds silly. It sounds like something I wouldn't want to do. <laughs> you, you go through those conversations, but I always say start with one minute. If you can find a spot for one minute, where you shut everything off and no, you do not have to sit in, you know, the, that sitting position, I lay down. So if you want to lay down, lay down. The whole idea is to let go. Let yeah. go. And, the, and then as you go the next day, two minutes, the day after that three, if you want to increase by a minute every day and work yourself up to half an hour. I know some people that do 60 minutes. I know some people that split it, do it in the morning and then at night before they go to bed. 
which is an amazing way to start and end your day with intention, with intentional type of meditation. Um, start with that. Have more fun. Yes. Be more childlike. If you haven't blown up any bubbles since you were five, why not now? If you have not ran through the grass in, in barefoot. Or rolled down, down a hill. Yes, roll down a hill. Um, play in the water. You know, I watch the kids out front after it rains. They're running in through the puddles. And I'm like, I remember doing that. And we loved it. It was so freeing. So stuff that go back to your childhood and go, okay, what did I like to do? What was fun? What was like, wow, just awe, shock and awe, I guess is because then you're raising your vibration. The more your vibration is raised, the easier it is to connect to source, to that source energy. Um, and then play games. Um, instead of like, say you drive the same way to work and you and all of a sudden you get left. You're like, why am I thinking left? That's your intuition. It's very subtle. It's quiet. It's positive. It is. It reminds me of like a butterfly. It's like you see a butterfly. You're like, oh, what's that? Okay, gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna go left, and then you find out that there was this big accident, or you avoided a, a terrible accident. That's your intuition. It's there to guide you, to guard you, to help you. It's like your spidey senses. It's it's a protection. And I think a lot of us have forgotten about that. Yeah. We yeah. just do, we don't, we just do. We're not being in the moment, be more present. I like to play games where I'll write down a name or put um, playing cards in envelopes and I'll just, and I'll try and, and use my intuition and figure out what the color is, what the number is. Yeah. Um, if somebody's about to call you, don't look and just go, okay, that's my auntie. and. Whoa, look at that, it is. Or you were thinking of someone and they call, that's again. And numbers, repeating numbers, huge for me. I, I don't know about anybody else, but I see triple one, triple two, triple three. And I always say thank you, because I know it's it's messages for me. And then there's the feathers, the, the animals, um, coins. There's so much out there, once you start looking and being curious it's just like you're saying hello please bring me more yes yeah um and it's kind of like cindy was um, when we were talking about having fun she said if you can physically do skip skipping is a blast yes skip, skip, skipping is, is fun then you kind of like think um oh my god how do, you know how did i manage to do loads of that when i was when i was when i was younger it's like I'm dying now doing it uh, that, <laughs> on my knees, on my knees. Totally, or even hopscotch. I love playing hopscotch. Oh, yeah, I love playing. I love playing hopscotch. And yeah. any type of coloring or painting, anything creative, colors. If you love purple, wear purple, which I love. You know, yeah, stuff like that. At crystals, essential oils. There's, I could talk about it forever I <laughs> yeah i mean there, there's loads of um, stuff out there and cindy's also said yeah that instinct where avoiding an accident there's there's actually happened mm -hmm. um, and we're so glad you're here and you were not part of that yeah yeah it, it, exactly and it's interesting because um carla and cindy were actually um before the show were actually talking about past trauma okay uh, and and obviously we've We've, you know, we've mentioned that now, you know, how past trauma can can really affect us in 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 the present, in the in the here and now, um, and that if we can look at ways of healing it, not just ours but our ancestors, then you know we're clearing the path for us in the present. And I have a real powerful. I just sorry, I just it felt like someone tickled me here. So, because um, I was thinking it, and I'm like, yes, I'm saying it. Um, I <laughs> write a letter to whoever has hurt you in the past. And that could be from a former boss to a former partner to family members and do it with your non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed. So I wrote this in my left hand. Powerful. You don't have to give it to this person if you don't want to, but to have it on paper and to read it out and to see what you have written 
and it looks ch like a child wrote it because you're not used to. <laughs> yeah. Like for me, I was like, this looks like grade one. And that's exactly where it came from. And boy, it just a ton of release. And it needs to be, and it just doesn't happen once. It happens in different moments in your life throughout your healing journey. Yeah, that's, that's, that's you know, that's, that's, a, that's a really good, you know, a, a, a good tip. Yeah, but with your non done hand, which is really, really quite interesting with me because I write and draw with my left hand, but I do everything else with my right hand, but I can't write and draw with my right hand. Huh. So I'll have to write with my right hand to get that that scribble and try and do something with my left hand, which will be really interesting with the knife and fork. Actually, that could be a game to play, actually, just just eat. Just <laughs> to see it. I bet you, you slow down the eating. You'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm full now. Because we do a lot of mindless things, eating, driving. Yes. Yeah. We, we, Working. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, 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 do, we, do a, we, do, we do an awful lot of, of, of that in our lives. So, oh, hello, we've got the cat joined us. Oh, <laughs> oh the cat. Well, actually, cats are the original Reiki masters. Mm. Yeah, anyways, that's another story. Yeah, yeah. well, my, my, cat, my cat's really good, actually. She, she, we actually shared a past life together in Egypt. Okay. Um, and when I have people um, around here um, uh, for meditation or afternoon tea of the angels, when they come downstairs, if someone needs that extra bit of healing or, or something, she'll literally go and uh, um, jump on their lap. Come yes. Coming up. Come on, kitty. Oh. Yeah, she, she's looking at me, so she may come up. So I've got to put a clock on my lap because obviously she's got claws. And oh, yes. Yeah. So many scratches from where she sat on my lap and she's gone, oh, this is nice and comfortable. Yes. <laughs> and that, okay, so I'm sitting here like this if you want to come up. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, where were we yes. going back to in intuition? Yeah, intuition. Um, and for me, I, I well, I, I'm an empath. So, you know, I get a lot of people are like, I just can't be in crowds and I don't like loud noises and scary movies. And people keep saying I'm so sensitive and quit being baby. And why are you crying so much? I got that as well. I'm like, hello, there's nothing wrong with you. You are a sensitive soul and, um, you know, you should be honored and cherished. So please do that for yourself. And then find other people like yourself and bring them in because you're going to be like, you know, it's like it's a vibe. You just right away, you know, I'm like, oh, I know you. I feel you. I am you. So I'm I'm all about empaths. I, I, I talk about um, how to protect yourself. Just be that energy. And if you're finding situations are too much, remove yourself. If yeah. you're around certain people. And that includes family members and even your friends. <laughs> um, if you're feeling worse, then you need to check in and go, okay, I there's something I need to honor myself and make sure that I'm protecting myself and being in protection um, first. And then once you've got your energy figured out, you don't have to protect yourself anymore. You are. Yeah. You set the tone. You're the energy. Um, yeah. Because there are, unfortunately, there are energy, I call them energy vampires. I'm sure we've heard of that. And, and yeah. narcissists. Um, and they love us. They know how to get whatever they want out of us. It's recognizing them right away. Like being very, and when you tap into that intuition, it's like radar, like photo radar. You're like, boom, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. 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 And, you know, we, you know, we're talking about intuition and um, we were, to, you know, and we were sent to them, obviously, Cindy. Um, it's very interesting, Carla. We were just talking about this too. <laughs> and uh, Carla's gone, uh, yeah, crazy good stuff. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And, I love uh, that. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's really the way intuition, you know, kicks in when you don't actually think um, that it's about or you may not have anything. Um, to do with it so anyone who's watching if you've um so cindy carla if you've got a question you want to ask them or any comments you know you know please do ask a question if, if you've got one that you think either um crystal or i can answer 
um, for you. Well, we'll, we'll see if we can answer it or our angels or our guides or yes, our, exactly. Or our intuition. <laughs> our intuition will will, will guide will guide us with those. Definitely. So, so you were talking earlier um, about working on um, self worth. Yes. And and that. Um, so so how how do you kind of like work with that because i think you've got a group haven't you 24k worthy or something 24 karat healing is my last name's gold so the the mm. you know on the periodic table it's yeah anyways ah. <laughs> a, little play, a little play on that like i'm some science nerd or something <laughs> I wasn't. but you know what science is a big part of spirituality mm. so Anyways, it's funny how it comes back later on in life. Um, yeah, the self-worth piece. Um, mm. Like I said, I, I always felt, it. like I said, it, I always felt like I was an outcast. And, and that was because I didn't know who I was. Um, I didn't realize that I was special, that I have gifts, that I'm here to do something. I'm here for a reason um, that no one else can do. And I've been reading a lot of Brené Brown. I mean, she's been everywhere. I don't know. She did. She basically does a ton of research on shame. And shame goes back to self-worth. Shame actually goes back to everything. Um, it's something that it's a full contact emotion. It touches everything. So I've been diving into that a lot as well. And just finding out that... Um, your, your worth is not based on your, your job, how much money you have in your bank account. <laughs> My worth is based on, and I will go back to Wayne Dyer, bless his heart. That's how I started my ego journey. Um, he says that you, don't die with the music still left inside of you. And that's what I'm basing all mm. of my worth on. I want to help other people realize that beauty inside of them themselves. Yeah, oh, that that's amazing. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne Dryer was um, yeah was, was was absolutely amazing. Even when you look back on some of the stuff he's done, and 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 he's so to point and, and but in a such a nice way he does it. Yeah, though. yeah, he does it in a really nice, really nice way. And Joy's joined us. Hello, ladies, checking in from Florida. Oh, cheers. Hi, nice. Joy. Thank you, thank, you for jo thank you for checking in. I know your show's just finished and you've just joined on to our one. So, so uh, th thank you very much for coming, uh, taking the time to, uh, to come in and uh, say, say hello to us about intuition. And if you've got any um, questions, you know, before we finish the show, then, then please do feel free, um, feel free to ask. So, We've talked about um, self-worth and intuition. Um, you know, what, what else do you think can can help um, women out there, you know, you know, with you know, with their self-worth, their intuition, but everything else in, in their lives to actually move themselves forward and not be stuck in the you know. <laughs> Honestly, it goes back to um, being aware of the ego, ego awareness, really diving in and get it, finding out your own understanding of what ego is and how it shows up in your life. Um, I would, like I said, recommend a, a really good journal. I mean, I have four or five where I'm, and I'm always writing, having aha moments. Um, just go online, go on YouTube and start exploring and find who really resonates with you because that's what happened with me. I, it was a couple people, but uh, definitely Wayne Dyer, um, Brené Brown. I mean, there's Abraham Hicks. Um, there's Joe Dispenza. There's there's so many. I, I'm just yeah. But it goes back to healing yourself, going inside, being present. Um, there's that whole mindfulness. I like the term paying attention. You pay more attention to yourself. Put yourself number one, and that does not make you selfish. I don't like that label either. No, no, I, I, I don't, don't really. You cancel, clear, delete. We don't like that word. And don't let anybody guilt, shame, blame. Fear is the number one driver. False evidence appearing real. 
when you when you think fear, just go back. I always put my hand on my heart and I'm like, what would my heart want to do? Not yeah. this, this. Lead with your heart. So soft front heart, strong back. Yeah. And just be kind with yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive other people. No attachment to anything. No attachment. Yeah. No. And I, and I think that's one of the hardest things that um, people um, find, especially women, is forgiving themselves. I, I, um, from, from all the people, you know, the women I've worked with over the years, it is forgiving yourself is such the is such a hard thing for for people to actually do it is and then saying oh i forgive you and you don't really you still have resentment there you haven't you're not honoring yourself by just flippantly saying i forgive you if you're still getting if you're feeling a trigger or someone's poking a button somewhere and you're like oh i thought i dealt with this oh. Be, be gentle, be kind. Don't don't judge yourself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah, we, we 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 shouldn't. We are we are the we are the biggest judges, not just of ourselves, but of other people as well. And we, and we really shouldn't be um, judging. So, Cindy, um, ladies and gentlemen, it's been great, brilliant. Thank you so much for for um, watching, Cindy. And um, Joyce said, yes, lead with your heart, not with your body very powerful message it, it is um, and it's something that we we, we should um, be doing more and Joy has also said indeed that's a message we have to get out especially to women cheers definitely yeah we're de definitely around uh, getting that message out there and I and I don't actually use the word fear cancel clearly I like the word illusion because mm, I think that I, I think that's I, I think that's some I think that sums up that quite nicely um, with that so Christine um, and those and those that know my show, um, I do guided meditations and angel card readings. So each week I like to ask my guest um, would they like a guided meditation or a angel card reading. So Christine, would you like me to pull an angel card for you and those watching or would you like a guided meditation? I would love an angel card. I love angels. <laughs> yeah, I love angels at all. At all. Everyone always loves the loves the um, the angel cards. Uh, that so um, as usual uh, when I do the cards, I don't do the cards to predict the future. Um, the way I work is very much in the present. So although I work with past life regression, that's that's to heal the, that's healing the past so you can be fully present. And then when I take you into the future, it's knowing what your future is so you can be fully back in the present. So the cards are what you need to know um, in the present now. So let's just give the cards a quick cleanse and bless. So what does Christine and everyone who's watching this live, oh, a later date and need to ask. And that one, we actually had two have come out and they just decided to um, come out. So we have answering the call, the time is now. <laughs> Don't know how clear that one comes up. And also, view from above, get the big picture. Nice. And that. So, um, I mean, I don't really need to uh, do too much um, with, with, you know, to say too much about these cards, but, but it is for, for you, Christine, and those that are watching. Now is the time to really, you know, Set yourself forward to be who you truly are meant to are meant to be. You know, if you look around, get get the big picture. You know, if, if you look around and see what's going on, you, you'll actually. And when I say look around, look with your heart, not with your head or eyes, but with your heart. When you actually look around, you'll actually you can actually see that this really is now the time for you to step forward you know you're you're worthy to step forward and be the best possible person you are and progress with whatever dreams you want to manifest at this at this time being so i think they're two beautiful cards that have uh, that they have are out. definitely thank you ah uh, you're welcome and carla has said uh, that is a huge lesson judgment is a big one i never fit into the group of friends and family i know it's okay um, at the time, it was uh, it was hard, hard to, to be left out. And yeah, that, yeah. It, it it is judgment is 
is, is such a big thing. But, you know, these, these cards that we've just pulled are basically say, you know, don't worry about the judgment of others or, any, or anything, because if you look with your heart at the bigger picture, you'll see that the judgment isn't really judgment about you. Definitely. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. the latter. It's other. It's other. Definitely. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, so yeah. So, so thank you uh, for that, Carla. So, um, Christine, before we wrap up the show, do you have any insights or thoughts um, to leave for um, those that are watching? Um, I guess that what I want to leave with you is that is a bit of a mantra for me. Something I have in my other group is that healing begins where the ego ends. Healing begins <laughs> where the ego ends. I like that. Yeah, it's and healing is not a straight line. A lot of people are like, where's the easy button? Just give me this and give me that and give me a reading and everything will be wonderful. But I'm finding many people are coming back asking the same questions. So they're not doing the work. You have to do the work. Nobody else can do it for you. And you have to have that self actual, you know, that realization with self and have that conversation. I know it's going to be difficult and but I, honestly, I just want everyone to, you know, spread that and help others. Be yeah. How may I serve? That's another thing that I do when I wake up. Okay, what's going on today? How may I help? How may I serve? Yeah. And it's amazing what comes through. And I, I love being a service for others because it's reciprocal. It'll come back. There's no oh, I'll get you back, or don't go into that, because I know women, we do that no. as well, yes. or what do I need to give back? Nothing. Your presence, it'll come back to you. It, it's that That's what I want. I, I want healing for all, and my ultimate goal is to have a healing center, because it is much needed where I live. Yes, I think healing centers are needed um, all over the world, um, yeah, that's that's my big thing that I want is is my own their own personal retreat where people can come and and can heal themselves and others and you know and just just be at one and and come back to their other. So so we need to start a campaign. We need them in every city, every town, mm -hmm. um, every, every place. There should be some kind of healing area retreat where people can just go and be present. And just be who who they who they truly are, and that. So yeah, I think I think that's that's a, a brilliant brilliant thing. And fingers crossed, they'll they'll come in. Well, the cards are saying that there's a very good possibility. <laughs> of Same. course, I, it, it already is, and so it is. It's yeah, it, it's already done. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I hope everyone you've enjoyed watching this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom Christine has given you will help you further on your journey. So Christine, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, at, on my page, 24 Carat Healing, that's 24K Healing. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, I'm pretty much everywhere. I have a contest going on my Facebook page. I have freebies. I have a weekly guided message on YouTube. So, and lots of stuff to do with chakras. There's a lot of complimentary stuff. Oh, and I, I like to give, I like to give things away. I like to provide value as much as I can. That's, 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 that's brilliant. Yeah. We, 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 lo we like when giving things away and, and uh, you know, and then seeing what's out there and, and it gives us a chance to try different things we might not have thought to try initially true um, enough and that which which i think which i think sometimes um you know people will forget where they're going oh i you know i don't want to give anything for free well you know sometimes you that person will need needs that and they might not have thought about it if they you know, if it wasn't for, is it, if it wasn't free, so you're actually helping them. Yeah. And that's, that's what I believe. I, yeah. If it can help at least one person, amazing. It's a, it's a great feeling it needs to be a, a more feminine energy, less masculine. Yes. And more. fingers crossed. I think that's starting to, 
to to come in now so hopefully it will all go no not hopefully <laughs> it is it is it's done everything is done and i've and i've seen the future anyway so i'm not worried about the um uh about about earth or what's going on at the moment because we still survive uh, so so people please don't worry we do survive mm -hmm. uh, in the future so everyone thank you so much for watching and i'd like to invite you to share this video as i'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you um and christine's details i will put um in the comments um, with the links so that you can so that you can actually find her and if you had reached that crossroads in your life and need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path then i would love to be that guide for you reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call where i can find out more about you you can find out more about me and what, how i can be of service to you um, and then we can see if I can help you take charge of your destiny. And also, if future life progression yeah, is something that interests you, then I'll be teaching a three-day certified course on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November at the Clarendon Hotel in Blackheath. So please feel free to contact me for more details. And next week, I will be talking to Kelly Roberts Carrigan about embracing your sensitivity. So that's uh, next Wednesday, 8 p.m. So please do come and um, join in that show. And again, thank you everyone for watching. And Christine, it's been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on my show. It's been brilliant talking to you. And we could probably have gone on a lot longer than, than, than we actually did. Oh, and yeah. So, so, so maybe you'll have to come back on again at a later date and we'll continue oh. the conversation where, we, where, it, where it stopped. I would love to brilliant so again thank you all for watching and christine thank you and i will see you all again next week bye